So I'm here today to do a video for Arctic Circle to help give some tips to you guys when starting out table tennis. So I hope you can really enjoy this and find it very useful. Run like a rabbit, steady like turtle, encircle yourself in Arctic Circle. Run like a rabbit, steady like turtle, encircle yourself. Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Daesh. I'm an international table tennis player from England. I recently participated in the 2020 Under 21 European Championships for England. I've also represented my country in various other international tournaments. So, you've got a bat, what do you do next? You want to start playing, right? So you need to find a local club. So you can do this in various ways. The obvious choice is if you have internet to look on Google. Now you should be able to find a few options of local clubs near you. However, this may not always be easy as some clubs don't have websites, for example, and may not be easily accessible on the internet. So therefore, maybe it's a good idea to ask some local people if they have any connections with table tennis and have any ideas for how to find a club. But essentially, the first thing you need to do is find a club to help you progress in your table tennis career. Another thing you can do is uh, look on social media and see if there's anyone who plays table tennis and someone your age, for example, or someone you just feel you get on well with and try to uh, befriend them, try and make friends with them and uh, try to connect with them and see if they have any ideas of how you can start your table tennis career and start playing more. Another thing is a bit more expensive unfortunately is consider purchasing your own table tennis table. You can get your own outside table and these aren't too expensive but it also depends on what type of quality you want and uh, whether or not you want to invest in that. Also another thing you could do, I guess, is buy your own table tennis robot. However, again, this is very expensive, even perhaps more than a table tennis table. However, this does mean that, especially when starting out, you don't need to have uh, a table tennis player really to play with you. So tip number two, once you've got your own club, you need to try and sign up for a local league. Now, this is really important as you start playing matches against many different players and you make many more connections with the sport. So it's really important you sign up for a local league. This can be expensive, however, it's definitely worth it as you get to play against more opponents and improve your game further and gain more knowledge as well of the sports. So it's built upon that is then finding a coach. So this is really important if you want to progress further in your game. It's very hard to try and make it to the next level if you're doing everything by yourself. So a coach comes in real handy. They can help you develop your game every day or every time you have training and this is just really important. They look in depth at your game, see what they can improve. So I really recommend uh, looking for one. You can hopefully find one through your club uh, or you can search on the internet. There are many players and coaches on social media you should be able to connect with hopefully and uh, ask for coaching from. So the next tip guys is work on your fitness. This is something which is really important in table tennis. Many people don't actually consider it to be such a actual fitness based sport. However, I believe it is. I believe you need to be very strong, especially for your weight. And uh, you need to really be working on this every time you get the chance to. That means every day or whenever you've got some time during the week, you need to be focusing on your fitness. This is very easy. You can do this at home. You can find loads of fitness uh, instructors on the internet or YouTube videos, which are free. It's very easy to do. Uh, just try and progress your knowledge with this a bit more, trying to find new exercises to help your game, learn a bit more about what you need in table tennis for fitness. So you can ask this from any other player you meet, but essentially the fitness groups you need to be working at are for me, your lower body, so your legs. These are really important in table tennis, especially if you want to be fast moving around the table. Another point is your upper body. Now, most players actually think this is not so important, but actually it really is. Uh, you need to be strong and stable with your upper body. This helps you to play uh, better strokes and be more uh, grounded to the floor. So really do watch out and make sure you are progressing your upper body. Another thing also is your core, your stomach. Uh, this is really important to work at as this again helps ensure that you're a bit more balanced and stable when playing a shot. So hopefully you've played a few matches, you're, in a, you're signed up to a local league, you've got a coach. The next thing you need to do is record your matches and record your training as well if you can. So if you have a camera, this is perfect. Alternatively, you can do it on your phone. Just get yourself a tripod or something so you can hold your camera in place and get a steady uh, picture. Now, this is really important for one real reason, and that is you can see yourself 
what do you need to improve post-match or training. So you can go back home after your match, you can look at your video and see what did I do wrong, how could I improve this part of my game. And you could also go to your coach with this information because they probably will be able to help you even more than yourself. And uh, this is just really important you do. I think uh, recording your matches is definitely one thing you should definitely consider in your game and this could really take you to the next level. Now you're in your club, you're playing a lot, you, you will find players who are better than you and this is actually really good and this is a really great opportunity for you. You want to put yourself in that environment. It means you can train with them and get better with them but the other thing is that you can ask them for help. Now many people are shy to ask for help but this is actually uh, vital if you want to keep improving. So it's really important you ask better players for help as they can give you their own tips from their personal experience and this can just really help you develop as a player to learn new things and uh, keep improving. Okay guys thank you very much for watching this video this is done proudly with Arctic Circle and thank you very much to Mike for asking me to do this video for you guys I hope it really helped you and I hope to see you guys again very soon. Encircle yourself in Arctic Circle Run like a rabbit, steady like a turtle Encircle yourself in Arctic Circle